So, as you guys can see, I got some GTA gameplay in the background on quarantine. I've been about bored as fucking fuck, so I've been replaying GTA to see how long I can beat it. And then, I, you know, I got distracted like one day out of like the two. And I was gonna see if I can get it done in a day, but I should do, you know, I still have, I still have normal life. A few things off the bad driving during the mission that starts, the bad driving during the mission that starts is 25% me being an idiot, 25% my bad driving in the game, 25% the bitch tugging on the wheel in the fucking passenger seat as you'll, I don't know if you pay close attention to it inside the car, no, you can see, and then I don't know, another 25% or some fuck shit that I can just blame it on, <laughs> so, sorry for that, but, so I was kind of stuck between, uh, doing benzos and going to my grandparents, and then doing Tylenol 3s, or, uh, which, that's a, that's a pretty good one too, or, uh, you know, greening out, so this is gonna be my second time greening out, and yeah, I kinda think this is a funny, like, it's a funny story, so take me back to sophomore year, uh, I wanna say, it's either around this time last year, or, or well, yeah, it's about to be May, so it's, it's either like, it's either like end of April, like mid, or not, end of April, early May, I wanna say, actually, no, it would be mid-April, now that I think about it, so, and I'll get to that why in a second. So, events leading up to me not being able to smoke, which I didn't smoke for really like six weeks or so. So, I got popped by my mom in February at my grandparents with a vape, a bottle of vape juice, and four fucking uh, tramadol pills. Oh, boy, did I like those tramadols, I'll tell you. That's another story for another time, too. So, that boom, three stories that I just have thought of. So, well, including this one. So... Uh, this has been like six months of me not smoking, and the main boy, we're going to call him Mr. B, who me and my buddy Corey and our other buddy, we're, we'll call him Jack, but he's not really a part of the story. I'm j uh, these aren't real names, by the way, I'm not going to give real names, but uh, Jack's not in the story. But we've been buying consistently off of Mr. B for quite some time now, and yeah, he, he just always had the gas on deck, like he, he always plugged us too, like from like the first time we bought from him to the last, like which I don't really want to even say there is a last, because like... I'm also not smoking right now, and that's another story too, so that's, that's a great story, and actually, it's not because, like, it's not because of drug test, well, I mean, like, I probably will get drug tested here soon-ish, like, maybe, like, two weeks, but, like, that's, I, I just don't give a fuck anymore, like, I, I just fail the piss test at this point, it's for my mom, like, it's not for a job or anything, but, anywho, uh, yeah, so, like I said, six weeks without smoke, sorry I'm talking, I'm sorry I'm drawing blanks here, it's just, like, kind of tired, but I'm still going to power through this one because I like the story a lot. So me and Corey are planning, because we see on Mr. B Snapchat story that he has this bag. It looks like, it looks like a two, sorry about that, that was my Snapchat, but it, it looks like a, about a two zip bag, like a, a bag with like two zips. It's like, and it, it was like, you could tell it was like, it, it was a package with like medical, like the medical mark on it. And it was some sativa. I, I still remember it was called, I think, I think it was called Venom, I feel like, Venom OG, I, I don't know, correct me if you know, I mean, like, if that's not the name of the thing, you wouldn't know, but correct me if that's not even a sativa, because this was sativa, so, we're going throughout the day, and we're just, like, planning, I was like, alright, you know, I'm gonna tell my mom that I'm not coming home directly after school, I'll probably be home at curfew, and I'll eat dinner with her another day, so, because <clears throat> normally I have to go home, check in with my parents, talk to them for a little bit, you know, like, fucking, I don't know, play with my cat, do whatever homework I have, and then I can go back out, you know, so, uh, this time it was a no. We were, we had a mission after school. We were, the mission was, get a gram, get a rap, get blazed off my ass, you know, three fucking steps. And let me tell you, that did happen. Let me tell you, it was fun for a small period of time. So, day goes by and then I meet up with Corey at my car, you know, we hop in, we hop in the fucking whip and then we head out to the park that we all chill at. And, uh. We probably, I don't know, we, we wait on Mr. B for quite some time, and I think we end up, I forget who we got a rap from, but I think we ended up getting a rap before we even got the bud. So we ended up getting the bud after like maybe like a 45 minute wait, I don't know, sometimes Mr. B could be a little slow. And then these two trucks, or not two trucks, this truck with two dudes just pull up right next to him, right next to us. And we know, they're, one of them's in the grade above us, and then the other one's in the grade above the one that's in the grade above us. So he was, there was a senior, a junior, and then we were sophomores. So... No, they, one of them stumbles out the truck and we're like, okay, these boys, these boys are drunk or, or they're off his hand. So he's like, hey, what are you, what are you guys doing? We're like, oh, we're just rolling up a BZ here about ready to go, or about ready to go smack this motherfucker down. He goes, oh, can I tap that? 
and Corey's like, I don't know, man. It says, and he looked at me like, can I tap that? He's like, I'll, I'll give, I'll, I'll give you two bucks and a Zan. And at this point, I didn't really do pills besides the tramadol. I, I did the tramadol, but like I said, other story. So, anywho, we uh, I mean, me and Corey looked at each other, and Corey did like himself some fucking beans. He he liked them Zans. So, uh. I was like, you know, fuck it. Yeah, so at this point, I didn't blow blunts. My car only smoked pieces. So we decided that we were going to go park my car at the square and walk over to the smokestacks. <clears throat> and so I was like, by the way, oh, well, actually, before this, I was like, what do you want? And this dude, like, before he offered the bar, because after he offered the bean, I knew what he was on. But I was like, yeah, so what do you want? And he just fucking smiles and starts laughing. And he pulls his lip down, and you just see fucking, you just see his hand chilling in his fucking, like, in between his lip and his gum. And he's like, I'm on the Zan. And so, Corey fucking ate that Zan like it was candy, and then we went and tapped the blunt, and we were, we were smacking on the blunt for a while. And I remember at one point, it was really awkward, because some bitch and her dog just walked right past, like, walked right past us. And the fucking senior dude just kind of looks out and goes, up, and she just gives us, gives the four of us the dirtiest fucking look. So after exchanging stories and shit, the senior dude goes, oh, I'm about to high as fuck, and I'm like, I'm thinking no way, because this dude blows so much dope, but turns out he'd just been on the beans and on the coke for some time now or something, so he's kind of like not smoking. So, I, I'm, let me tell you, I'm ripped. I'm fucking goddamn ripped. I'm gone. So we're walking back to the car. I mean, I can still drive at this point, of course. I can always drive. I'm fucking me. That doesn't mean I'm a good driver. I can just always drive. So, we're on the way back to my car, and we you know we peace out with those boys. And I think, I remember on the way back, uh, this one bitch that was beefing with the senior dude and... Well, I guess at that point, beefing was the kid that was a junior as well, because they're, like, really good friends. No, she was like, you guys are a bunch of bitches. And she's like, not you, no, and Corey, just the other two. <laughs> and me and Corey lost our shit. And, uh, the senior dude goes, hey, and says her name, and she's like, fuck off. It, it, it was funny as shit. But, you know, we make it back to the, we make it back to my whip, and we go back up to the park. And so after about, like, 20, 30 minutes of this going on, like, I'm starting to not feel so good. And I've greened out once before. In fact, at the same grandparents I was just talking about. By the way, the grandparents I did the bars at, by the way, different grandparent. And I, I figured I'd just let you guys know that before the next story. But, uh, so, we're, we're, we're just kind of chilling there. And now, like I said, I'm not feeling the best. I got a, like, weird feeling in my stomach. And I was like, Corey, I'm about to fucking green out. And he goes, oh, no. Oh, no. And keep in mind, I just tapped a, a medical blunt. Or, like, you know, a blunt filled with some medical shit. in the first time in six months. Like, you know, first time smoking anything in six months. So, I, you know, I'm like, you know, fuck, I'm gonna go sit in my car. And then, at this point, my girlfriend pulls up to the park, and she was like, yeah, he doesn't look too good. And I was like, yeah, babe, I'm, uh, I'm fucking greening out. And, well, she's my ex now, but I got the point. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of greening out. And she's like, yo, uh, to this one kid, I was like, you know, you live close here. Can you go grab my water? Because at this point, anything, like, that she'd, like, offer me to drink that wasn't fucking water, dude, it, it just, it, it did not appeal to me at all. Like, I just wanted to throw up. And this went on for two hours, let me tell you. And I, I remember people, I guess, would come up and talk to me. And, like, I just kind of, kind of like, look at him, like, say hi. Like, you know, shake up with him and just lay my head back down. Like, I did not want to move for literally two hours. And I had, like, some feel that people tell me it's, like, two hours straight of me just not doing shit. And so, you know, fast forward through all of that. Because there's really nothing else to talk about. Oh, actually. The, so, the one dude that they were off the Zants and shit. He comes up to me and my girlfriend. And he goes, you got a charger for for I think uh for for my phone and I was like yeah bro it's right here and he goes okay he goes by the way where the fuck are my other three Zans and my girlfriend goes hey uh you ate him like 10 minutes ago and he's like oh really so I remember <laughs> I remember before all this actually before Corey even got handed the bar like so actually before we smoked the blunt uh, I remember he goes, hey, Corey, you're lucky I'm not giving you the, f like, once this fit and all, but I'm eating those fuckers, and he just did an evil laugh. I just thought I had to add that in there. I always, like, think of some shit to add in, but, like, afterwards. So I figured I'd just add that in real quick before, uh, before I continue. So, good news is after two hours, I, I literally, like, probably, it felt like two hours on the dot. I just felt fine. Like, I, I just felt nice and stoned and fine. Like, it was just the best part, because after greening out, I never go back to being stoned. I'm always, like, sober and just, like, a little, like, absolutely feeling like shit. I'm still pretty stoned after this, like, two hours. Like, that was fucking decent, though. Like, I mean, the majority of the high was fucking killed from me greening out, but, like, I had a good, like, ah, uh, like, 40-something minutes of, like, me being, like, 
pretty fucking baked and not being greened out, but like it was like 40 minutes spread out, so like the next, like the extra, actually no, it would have been closer to an hour, because I had like 30 minutes beforehand, and like 45 after, so yeah, no, it was, it was a little bit over an hour, so anyway, I get my buddy back to his crib, and then I get back to my crib, you know, I fucking snacked out on some food, and I was like, yep, my, my mom, my dad went to fucking bed, so I hope you guys like that story, I always thought it was a Kind of funny, you know, and I'll, you, actually, I already have a story about me greening out, if you guys want to go check that one out, and that one is greening out at my grandparents, it's probably one of my most viewed videos, it's like, a whole 26 views, you know, <laughs> uh, I kind of want to shout the dude out that, like, said nice vids and, like, subbed me today, so it was pretty cool, and, and uh, there's another dude that said he liked my content, so that's also cool as well, so I'll catch you guys in some more videos, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna start doing some other stories besides drug stories, and I'm actually thinking of one right now, right after I do the fucking... Right after I get the uh, Zan at my grandparents and then the Tylenol 3's one. Because let me tell you, that one is pretty decent. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.